Oh, so I should do the Card Kids intro. Hello, welcome yeah. to okay. video Card Kids. Ready? Yep. Okay. Hello, and welcome to another video of Card Kids. Really? I don't like deep in my voice. That was like so demonic. All right, well, tell them what's going on here today. We each have $1,000. We're going to buy 10 cards each. He is taking over my channel for a day. That's right. And he's taking over the Sports Card Investor channel tomorrow night. So tomorrow night on the Sports Card Investor channel, you're going to vote in the comments on that channel. Your and here's comments. the second way. Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, Reeves and I are both going live on Whatnot, and all of the cards we're picking up today we're gonna auction them all off on Whatnot. So join us Tuesday night. I'm gonna to toss a QR code up on the screen right over here. Scan that QR code to get the Whatnot app. We're gonna hook you up with $10 in free credit. And you can use that $10 credit to join us Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time on the Sports Card Investor channel on Whatnot. We're gonna be selling all of these cards and we're gonna see who sells for more. I'll give you this one piece of advice. Oh yeah, please give me advice, card kid. I'm the sports card investor. You go modern football. No, and you don't go modern no, yes, football. You, do go you modern don't go football. no, that's not what you do at all. That's not a good strategy. I want to go basketball. Because the hype's gonna build to the start of the basketball season. I wanna go <laughs> Well, where you wanna go is wrong. Okay, I wanna go buy some cards. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. So I'm sure Reeves is looking all for football. So I gotta I gotta throw a little variety in here. I'm looking for some basketball. Let's see what we got here. Let's pull out the Desmond Bain. That is a pretty sweet card. I try to be as close to comps as I can, so I have a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, I guess it, I guess yeah. this is the most recent sale. A PSA 9 sold for 148. Would you take 130 for that? 130 cash? I could do that. Alright. Good deal. There we go. Card one down, let's go. I saw your first card, I don't agree with the first card. No, well PSA 9 is worth more than $18, ah. more than that. But what you don't know is that the last raw one of these, the month prior, sold for 173. And this looks like it's in really sharp condition, so whoever buys this could submit it. Maybe it's PSA 10 worthy, okay. that's the dream. Okay. All right, see? Okay. See, your dad's okay. a little smarter than you give me credit for. Okay. I'd be interested to take a look at the John Morant's. How much is the Kobe Black Refractor? 800, but I have some room. You have some room? Like one really big car, that's pretty cool. The Herbert Explosive. And then let me see the Brady and the Micah Parsons. You realize our budget thousand dollars, right? You don't realize how good of a deal I can get here. All right, what are what is your asking price on all these here? Six hundred. Six hundred is going to be a little out of the range. Two thirty, two thirty, a hundred, eight hundred, and three hundred. Man, I love this Kobe. I know, I know, I would be able to sell that one good on whatnot. That is a beautiful nine, but I would have to put so much of the budget into that car. These ones I like quite a bit. So this hasn't sold for a while. Mm -hmm. I do see one sale of a PSA 10 from over the summer at 250 on eBay. Okay. That's the only sale of that card in PSA 10 that I see in quite some time. Would you take 230 on it? Yeah. Done. Okay. Awesome. Good deal. Good deal. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, there's no sales there. All right, well, I, lo I lost my son. He's, uh, he's now all of a sudden in trade land here, but it doesn't matter because uh, while he's down there doing trades, I'm getting really sweet cards. I love this one because it's a top 11. These early year prism cards, this is second year prism. You don't find this stuff. This is the prism prisms, the prism silver. I think this one's gonna do really well for me. Yes, but now let's go get the next one. Five. Let me pull out the, let's do the John ja Morant, the uh, Red Wave. Let's do the Immaculate, Tony Pollard. Let's do the Jordan Love Reactive Blue. How about the Herbert Bronze Prism? Let's do the Kenneth Walker as well. Here we go, I got a few football cards. That, you know, Reeves' strategy was to go football, but I'm going for some different names than I know, you know, cards he's gonna go for. A guy like Tony Pollard, I know running backs are not the, not the most popular cards to get in the NFL, but they're good values, and he's the man in Dallas right now. A lot of people are gonna have these guys on their fantasy team, so I feel like I'm getting some good value here. Herbert, Love, John ja Morant. John ja Morant's cards are down. Hopefully they're back up next season. All right, an SGC 10 went for 45. So the PSA 10 could be worth a little more than that for sure. Let's see what this one's doing right now. All right. Herbert Bronze. So I like this card. This one's probably gonna be the one that we're off on price a little bit more. Okay. A PSA 9 just did 160, and the one right before that did 135. Okay. The one right before that did 129. So. 
I would be down, you know, I'd be down like in the PSA 9 range. Probably uh, 220 would be the best I could do. How much? 220. 220, yeah. okay. I'll probably pass on that one. Yep. All right. Um, what do you consider 460 for these four cars? The Kenneth Walker, uh -huh. the Tony Pollard. Recent sale on that was a little bit under 100. Okay. The Jordan Love, and then that Ja Morant. So total across all four, 460. Cash. Yeah, I could do that. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Good deal. All right. Awesome. awesome. There we go. Okay. I, I outspent a little bit on my first uh, six there, but I feel really good about what I bought. Uh, hopefully the audience does as well. I need to go quickly spend my last $180. Yeah. I walk up to the table and he's already bringing Desmond Ritter. <laughs> he knows his audience here well. All right. So I only have $180 left. I got to buy four cards to complete this challenge. How much does that Jordan there go for in the PSA 10? That's one of the Team USA Jordans. I love that card. That's the Barcelona Dream Team. This would be a really good one to get. If I get this and then a couple of less expensive ones, that might round me out here. How much do the Joe Montanas go for? I don't think it's much. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> see what these are actually going for. Let's use the Sports Cars Investor app. <laughs> yeah, market movers right now. Market movers. Did it go? Oh, All right, so I see the, down. Yeah, the last sale of that one I see seventy-one dollars. Eighty-four before that, seventy-four, oh. sixty-two. Okay. So it kind of bounces around that price or so. Okay. And then let me see on the Joe Montana. For the eight? Yeah, for the for the, for the PSA eight. Okay. Yeah, it's around twenty or so, twenty-five, thirty-six, eighteen, thirteen. Okay. Kind of bounces all around. Okay. Um, so you can buy two more cards. <laughs> so I can buy two more cards. <laughs> let me look at what some other less expensive ones here would be. Yeah, the one that interests you. That Jalen Hurts probably isn't too much, is it? I don't think it's that much. Yeah, that's probably a lower end one. Yeah, PSA 9 of that did $34. So yeah, that's not that's not that expensive of a okay. card. What do I want to end it with? What do I want to end it with? Wanted to get into some modern basketball. Let me see the Chronicles yes. Luca, and let me see the Zion and the Lamello. And let me see if any of those are going to be in the right price range. Elites. Luca, on just sold for $75. So my offer to you would be this Jordan, the last sale was around 75. This one, the last sale was 75 as well. So off the last sale, these are worth 150. This one in a PSA 9 sold for 34 most recently. This is a PSA 8, so it'd be a little less than that. And then this one sells for somewhere in the neighborhood of $20. Okay. So I'm slightly on the low side, but would you consider doing all four of them for 180? For you, of course, yes. You would? Okay, <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. There we go. We completed the spending challenge. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Thank you Let so me much. Take a picture, so for I sure, for sure. All right, so I ended on a high note. Look at this. A little Michael Jordan. Can't go wrong with that. How about a little yeah. bit of Joe Montana? We got some of the greats here. Three gold, three gold. A nice little Luca rookie car. That's a beauty. And then finally, I know you like the modern football. How about a Jalen Hurts rookie? Okay, I like the modern you, football, you but not just, an eight. You want to just hand me the trophy now for beating you in this competition? I'll hand you the trophy if you're never allowed to take over my YouTube channel again. I don't know. I Because this was just horrendous. This was so bad. This, like, uh, when I come out here, it's like, y'all are like, oh my god, he's so good at trades. I'm sure the whole entire time, y'all are thinking, don't do it. Y'all are probably yelling at your screens right now. No. Stop. No. Reverse the no. trade. I think your audience would love for me to be on the Card Kids channel from here on out. But no. you know what? I got my own channel to get back to. And speaking of that, you guys have to go over to the Sports Card Investor channel tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night, Sunday night, on the Sports Card Investor channel at 7 p.m., we're going to be dropping Reeves' video showing what cards Reeves bought on the show floor, and then you can decide who won. All right. Get off my channel. Right. Get off my channel. All right. All right. Get off my channel. Like and subscribe.